Hi guys, it's Monica and hey, it's Sheila. <laughs> it's it's Sheila. Oh my gosh, my lovely, lovely friend Sheila. I'm so happy to be sitting next to you. It has been so much fun having Monty and Jay here. And when Monica stepped out of that car, I was just astounded. Her weight loss is <laughs> dramatic. It's dramatic. I mean, dramatic. I don't, well, thank you. I don't. I don't really think it's dramatic, but thank you so it's much. I think I've lost more inches than pounds. I'm trying not to be a, um, you know, like addicted to the scale, but mm -hmm. I but I get on it every day, and it's like crazy. Don't do that because then it doesn't move, and you kind of get discouraged. But um, I can see a difference in my clothes and stuff you like that. You have nothing to be discouraged about. <laughs> it's, it's dramatic. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Thank you so much. So I just want to say that a lot of people have been asking about Sheila and tell her when you see her that we said hello. And then I've had other people various points in times, how's Sheila? How's she doing? Is she going to come back to YouTube? Probably not. Probably not, but Probably she's doing not, good. But right? I'm doing good and I do miss y'all and I still talk with some of y'all and uh, I I value y'all, but I don't think I'll be coming back to YouTube. No. 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 I, I I don't think you will either. But you never know. Never say never because, right, we're women. We can change our mind. Right? I have been away from YouTube so long that YouTube changed my name. I am no longer simply Sheila. I am life with Lily 002 something. I, I noticed it a couple of months ago, and that was some changes YouTube made a a while back with their inactive people. <laughs> YouTube has made a number of different changes and some of them have been not good at all. Mm -hmm. you know? um, and that's the frustration I think that we all have with YouTube is that it's so hard when something happens, there's not a person you can talk to. Right. Right. You can send messages and you might be dealing with a, a chat bot, but you, you can't really talk to a person. And well, if you had 10 million subscribers, they would talk to you, they would send you a basket of chocolates, and they would fly you to their meetings. But, you know, the little person on YouTube, they're... This is true. The little person on YouTube. Yeah. Absolutely. This is so true. So Jay and I have been, for those of you that have followed, you know that. Jay and I have been on um, sort of an extended trip. And I'm not going to say vacation because it hasn't been a vacation. We've both been working almost... Every day, a little bit. I've been teaching, he's been teaching, but we've been doing it in a different location. And one of the things that when we left Florida to come up to South Carolina that I just could not wait to do was to get together with Sheila and her husband, David. And I was like, couldn't wait to see her. You know, at first we thought she was going to come over to Myrtle. And then that didn't happen, and Jay and I decided we were going to do an M&J adventure and explore <laughs> a little bit of North Carolina. Yes. So we came here, and Sheila and David, kind enough to host us, put us up overnight, two nights actually. And I asked him yesterday, I said, so you're leaving next Wednesday, right? <laughs> No, no, <laughs> no, we're leaving Sunday. By the time you see this, though, I'll already be back. But um, it has been, it has just been so awesome just to, to get together with you. And this morning we went out and walked together. We did. Yeah, you know, I did um, a little over two miles, I think, yeah. something like that. So, and even though it's colder here, it's still a lot nicer than in New Hampshire right now. <laughs> For sure, with all that snow, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. But you look fantastic. Thank you. And you look like you've lost a lot of weight, too. No. Well, you, I think you have. You look your body, for sure. I think the the walking is just toning things up. You know, I haven't, haven't lost a lot of weight, but David and I had COVID. Lily is getting into your video. That's okay. <laughs> David and I had COVID, and um, it was rough this time, and it's really messed up my blood sugar, so I've been walking a lot, and I think maybe it's just 
is if things aren't being lost, they're just being rearranged a little. <laughs> and I, well, I've lost some of them, but I also feel that I am being rearranged too and yeah. toning and stuff like that. But just trying to stay more physical, you know, hitting 70 this year was hard for me. I was like, oh my gosh, you're still a baby. But hitting 70, I, I could not believe it. I said, how can I be 70? I don't feel 70. I don't think I look 70. I don't think I act 70. You don't. But I'm 70, and that's like so scary. We had a discussion over at my mom's on Easter Sunday. I said that Jay and, and Monty were coming, and mom was like, who is Monty? Oh, you met them at the beach last year. I'm like, well, we'd met them before. And I said something to, to David. I said, Monica's 70 now. He goes, Monica is not 70 years old. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, no, she's not. And Monica... I pulled up a picture and I showed it to Mama, and she said, "That woman is not seventy years old." <laughs> oh, that made my day when you told me that. I was like, "Oh, if David was in front of me, I would have kissed him." It just made my day to hear that, and your mom too. How sweet! But well, he he swore up and down until you told him last night that yes, you were seventy. <laughs> she is not seventy. You have misunderstood. <laughs> that was funny. We went out to dinner last night, and. It was an Italian restaurant, right? Mm. And uh, we had, um, I had some really good cheese sticks. I just love those mozzarella cheese sticks. And Jay had the buffalo chicken wings. And what else did I have? Oh, I had this cheesy garlic bread. And onion rings. And onion rings. Yeah, and I probably gained 20 pounds. But no, you I walked, walked it you off. You walked it off this morning. <laughs> I walked it off. Anyways, we're we going to be here. I don't know what we're doing tonight, um, but we're just kind of vegging out and, and chatting and getting caught up. And I wanted to share a little bit of my lovely, lovely Sheila. Oh, and buddy. I was so happy when she agreed to come on camera. I didn't have to really force her. No. Which was really nice. So, and... Um, she looks beautiful. She she looks. You look a lot younger. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. What are you? How old are you? I will be sixty-two the end of the month. She's a baby. Sixty-two. Some days I'm sixty-two, and some days I'm sixteen, and some days I'm one hundred and twenty-three. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But in either case, she is the baby. And uh, the youngest in our little circle here today is... No, David's younger David's, than you. David's the oh, baby. Oh, David's the baby. Oh, that's so funny. David's the baby. He's the baby. Oh, gosh. Well, then you're both babies then. Well, I get, uh, okay, we're the babies. We're Hi, the babies. Baby. I would have done anything Monica asked me to do just to get her... To spend time with her. If she had asked me to go push a peanut down the driveway with my nose, I would have... <laughs> Push she would have done it down the driveway yeah. with my nose. She would. No. Oh my gosh! No, I would never, uh, never ask you to do something Please you don't. really didn't want to do. <laughs> no. I might force you to do something a little bit that I think you want to do, but just need a nudge. <laughs> but, um, anyways, so one of the things that um, I did this trip is I ended up buying a lot of Elf products, mm -hmm. and I think I mentioned in my empties that I was using a lot of Elf, but. I bought this fairly new, at least new to me that I saw, which is the Cameo Blush, and I put it on heavy today, so I might look like a, I tried to rub it off, but it actually is really nice. I really like it, so I don't know if you can see, you know, uh, it probably isn't picking it up, but anyways, I thought it was really nice. I like the fact that I could rub it in, right, and and kind of like uh, not get stuck in my wrinkles <laughs> to, to make me look older. But I really, really like it. So I can't remember what I paid for this, but I, I bought it in Ulta. There's a brand new Ulta in Myrtle Beach mm -hmm. at the outlets that is a beautiful Ulta. Huge. And so I bought it in Ulta. And I also bought, and these things cost like four bucks. This is the um, their lip gloss. This I really like. I think this is the peach flavor. You have the peach. I have. Um, Do you have the peach? Yes, it's the peach. Okay. It's it's a it's like a bomb, but it's not gummy and it's not sticky and it stays on overnight. I really like it. I really like it. I am addicted to lip balm. I I am addicted to lip balm to a certain degree because I've had such dry dry lips ever since I've been on the the medication yeah. for the the breast cancer stuff. It's like. 
I, I'm dry. You know, my lips are dry. Sometimes inside my mouth is dry. So I'm always putting something on my lips just to, you know, feel like they're moved there. I can move or whatever. It's like unbelievable. But this I thought was really, I liked how it went on and it felt really good on my lips. So if you guys see it, you know, pick it up for it, four bucks. My it, gosh. It feels really, really good. It can't and go wrong. It's not, it's not a plumper. It doesn't tingle. It doesn't numb. And the, the flavor or scent is not overpowering. It's just pleasant. I and agree. It, Very but mainly, pleasant. it feels really good. Mm -hmm. I said to Jay, how is it for kissing? And he said, <laughs> when he kissed me, he thought it was nice. So. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> and the other thing, I think I mentioned this a number of times. I have, uh, and I bought this at home. This is the, and I know you have the other version or you had the other one, but this is the Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen, and it's 35 SPF and it's the elf it almost goes on to me it's not shiny it's not greasy because I think there's another one that is greasy right that it, you had tried it's the dupe for the super goop yeah and there are two different ones and the only one our Walmart had was the other one and it was greasy and pilly and horrible this is not greasy I actually use this as a primer. So mm -hmm. I put this on and it kind of like, you know, fills in a right. little bit of the holes at times on my, the pores on my nose. So I use it as a primer, but this is pretty well the first step that I do. And after I do my regular skincare and then I will put whatever makeup on. But I'll tell you, since I've been doing the red light therapy mask, I haven't, other than going on camera, mm -hmm. I really haven't used a whole lot of foundation. I think... The red light therapy, the one that I have is the Candy Way one. I took it on our cruise. I mean, I put that on. I was sitting out in the balcony while we were on the cruise, just watching the ocean go by. It was the funniest thing. And I'm just sitting there like this with the, <laughs> with the mask on. I really think that that has helped my whole skin tone even out more and become more um, I, like thicker, you know, type of thing, right? right? And I love, love, love that mask. I got that in April. My mom was in the hospital. My mom had just passed away when I started to use it and last April. And um, I used it pretty consistently. And I think by sort of maybe uh, September, October, I was really seeing a difference in my skin tone from that mask. Mm. So, and then the other thing was the Nera. I, I think the... Um, laser on that and I don't have I have it here with me I don't have the pro the pro is a lot thicker and I think I'm going to try to get the pro because then I could do more spots on my face than you know this is takes a while because you have like 40 pulses that you do and then it stops and you can go to another another area but this I really really have seen an improvement. I don't know if this video is going to be after the update or before the update on the Nara, but I filmed an update on it and you may already have seen it or not, but I was amazed on the photo that I took on the left side of my face, which is the driving side. Yes. And it was <laughs> naked skin and Shelly, you saw me naked yes. skin this morning too, right? It is a big huge oh. Uh, dare I say again, dramatic difference in those two pictures. <laughs> Everything about Monica this trip, money is just dramatic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the picture, I'll show it again here. That was taken December 28th. And then the second picture, I had mentioned it, uh, you know, March 3rd, but it was really April 3rd. I was shocked when I saw, I mean, you can still see the, there are still wrinkles there, but they're like so much better and not nearly as deep as they were I was amazed at the difference so yeah. yeah I'm I'm loving this thing now the Nera and the Nera Pro is the only difference the coverage area or is there a difference in the laser I think I I'm not 100% sure but I believe there is a little bit difference in the laser as well as the coverage area so I was looking at if I did the Nera Pro I could go through my face my because like my jowls I would really like to work them and it just it takes a long time because you figure there's 40 pulses that you are getting mm -hmm. and you have to move and then you go to a different area and so it can take a while and some days I don't have all that time right 
Um, but I do this mostly in the morning. But I have also done it at night when I didn't do it in the morning. So. The coverage area on the Nero Pro looks to be about four times the size of that mm -hmm. coverage it's, area. It's more it's like this more size. More like oblong or yeah. something. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Nira, you need to send her the, the Nira Pro. Oh, that'd be she's nice. she's really giving you a good little shout out here. And it is dramatic. <laughs> it's it, it, To it, me, it was really, dramatic. really dramatic. And I, and I do... Fully believe that for me, anyways, it's a combination of a lot of different things. But I'll, I'll tell you truthfully, when you lose weight, and yeah. I, this has happened to me in the past, when you lose weight, your skin, especially when you 70, I can't believe it, <laughs> but your skin, when you lose weight, oftentimes your face will look more wrinkly. Right. Your butt, your body may look better, right? But your face may look a little bit more wrinkly. So I really was on a slow weight loss, trying to be really slow because I wanted my skin to recover. But I was amazed that my skin, even after losing, I mean, pounds wise, it's 38 pounds, but it's been since November of 2022 that I started. So it's been a slow process. But I was surprised that my skin hasn't fallen as much your, as it could have. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. With losing close to 40 pounds, but your face doesn't look, and I, you know, let me get my words together. Your face doesn't look like it has suffered from you losing 40 pounds. No, I, I'm surprised because I, in the past, it, I've seen that happen, yeah. you know, and it's like, oh my gosh. So I guess the point that I'm trying to bring forward is that I think it's the accumulation of all the skin care that I've been doing. I think the the red light therapy mask, I, wear, I every day I have that on. And um, I, I think that has really, really helped the overall, you know, in toning. And then the narrow for that position, you know, really working on the certain spots, I think has been really good. So lots of different things that, and I have that zip device. I brought that. That's Did like you? the new face. It's toning. Yeah, I've been trying to do that a little bit, uh, but I'm not as consistent. My marionette lines, I used to say they had grandchildren. Well, now they have great, great grandchildren, and I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest uh, skincare item right now is sunscreen because I'm outside a lot. I, I need, I want to do something to those, but I, I, you know, I haven't even been using Retin-A. And I thought, I'm getting, you know, it's, it's going to be warm weather. I don't like using Retin-A in the winter and I'm going to get back on the Retin-A and I'm going to, I'm going to try and take care of this old face a little bit better. I think you look absolutely wonderful, especially if you're not doing anything. But yeah, get back on your Retin-A. I think, I think that'll be something you'll be happy you do later on. Maybe not now, but later on, you know, when you look at it and go, okay. It's just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> not having the, not having that home fright. Yeah, to do it. it's it's. We were sick from January the first through the middle of February, and mm. I stopped doing anything. Yeah, I, I mean, I just stopped doing anything. And I think that's understandable when yeah. you don't feel good, you're sick, and all that. Yeah, you know. And I had about a food poisoning too, not too long ago, or about a month ago, or something like that. And I was like, ugh. I couldn't, I couldn't for like three days move, you know, because yeah. it was so bad. But um, I guess I'm just addicted to skincare. So, and I'm happy I'm addicted to skincare. <laughs> well, you know, I even, the Flora and Bath CBD oil had taken away the veins on my face. And, mm -hmm. and I'm in the bathroom the other day and I'm like, what's on my face? And it's the veins are back on my face. And I'm like... You know, Sheila, you have just been too much of a slacker. So I've I've got to I gotta get back into a routine. I've got to Yeah, you were using that C B D. Oh, it was wonderful. It I had a lot of broken capillaries on both cheeks and it made a big difference. So. Yeah. I I was using it. I really, really liked it a lot. I was using a lot of the C B D products and then I think uh, once YouTube removed my video for mentioning it, I was like kind of bummed about it. I should not have mentioned that in this video. No, I don't think that's going to be an okay. issue. I don't think so. 
Uh, you know, but I, mm -hmm. but you, and when YouTube removed it, that whole, was the whole dedicated video on CBD. So it's completely different. And now, you know, so many people are touting it all over the place. But do you think, yeah, I still have uh, that little black mark against me on my uh, YouTube channel, you know, easy. and look what happened. I don't even want to mention it, but they removed, you know, Natalie. Yeah. You, you just need to edit that out. I don't want to get, I don't want to get my BFF in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to. You're not going to. So anyways, I have no idea how long this video is, but I thought, you know, Sheila looks awesome, even if she doesn't want to say she looks awesome. She's been doing a lot of things right. She's been walking, and maybe you haven't been doing all your, you know, skincare stuff. You're still taking care of your skin because the most important thing is that you're using sunblock. Oh, yeah. I think to me that is the biggest anti-aging mm -hmm. anti-aging tool you can use yeah. is sunblock. You know, I, I use sunblock on my face. I Then I have a setting spray with sunblock in it, and then I'm reapplying sunblock during the day. I mean, you, you figure since I, I've been in Florida and then South Carolina, and I, I do have a tan. I know I have a tan, especially in, in my arms and stuff like my legs. But, you know, I've been wearing a lot of hats and straw hats and right. baseball caps and sunblock all the time, you know. Yeah. If this if this was ten years ago, fifteen years ago, I would, have, I would have been sunburned and dark as anything after yeah. you know all this time in the sun. I get up in the morning and at seven o'clock I'm putting on the sunscreen I don't like. Like it doesn't I don't like to wear it, you know, under any makeup. It doesn't play nice. And I put that on and I have on a ball cap and my sunglasses and gloves on my hands. And then I have a hoodie over my ball cap. The, I, I do think sunscreen is the, yeah, the most important thing. Yeah. So I am yeah. doing that. And I've always said that, you know, you can use Retin-A, you can use Nara, the red light therapy, all of these other devices and vitamin C's and all of that stuff. You can spend a, watching on that mm -hmm. and the one thing that you miss is that if you don't do it and it doesn't even cost that much is your sunscreen and you make everything else not work in exactly. my opinion you know it's exactly. all a waste of money so this will be my tub for sunscreen <laughs> yes yes <laughs> sunscreen yes absolutely so um any parting words there's someone very special out there that about twice a month, I get a lovely card in the mail. I get emails. She's very special to me. Jax, this was just for you. <laughs> okay. So hopefully she'll watch this. She'll watch it. Okay. She'll awesome. watch it. All right. It was for Jax and for Monty. Ah. Uh. I'm glad you didn't make me push a peanut down the driveway with my I never nose. would do that. <laughs> but I love you, and I I'm so you. happy to have you on my camera, my screen with me. It has been awesome. It has been just awesome. Jay was texting. Money drove the last part of the drive, and Jay was texting me, we're on this road, we're on this road, we're on this road. And when he got to our road, I'm standing at the door. I'm pacing between the side patio door and the front window, side patio door and the front window. And, you know, I was going to run out, and I was about to start crying, and then Monica stepped out of that car and I was <laughs> dumbfounded. Just dumbfounded. It's drastic. Oh my gosh. I it's don't drastic. see it that way. I mean, I know I said to you, well, my shirt's big, but it's you know. drastic. Aww. And you look lovely. Oh, thank and you. And I love you. Thank you. With my little wig on. my She saw my gray hair. I won't show you my gray hair, but <laughs> she saw my gray hair. It is awful. Oh, it is like so gray all over the place. I'm like, I'm not ready for that. So no. I'll wear my wig. I'll wear my topper. I'll wear a baseball cap. And when I get home, I'm going to go see my hairdresser <laughs> yeah. and see what she can do. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. Well, it's been great. And, you know, maybe the next time Monty and Jay come up, they can, they can stay till Wednesday. Ooh, Wednesday. They can stay till Wednesday or Thursday or mm -hmm. a month. Or, oh. You could just park your motorhome out there. Yeah, I said to Jay, could we fit the RV in this driveway? Yes, you can. And he said, I think we could. Yeah. <laughs> so you never know, right? You never know. Alrighty, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And um, 
you know, leave a comment, like the video, and, you know, try to be pushing this lady here to come back a little bit more. Maybe do another video. Maybe we can do a live stream. I can be in New Hampshire and you can be down here. I'll do that with you. Oh, see? She's committed. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much. I will see you in my next video. And Sheila will see you someday soon too, right? Someday soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. I don't know what to do. Just smile. Now another little smile. Huh? Uh, that kind of smile? Yeah. <laughs> So I'll just take away a screenshot of that and that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> that'll be the thumbnail. Mm.